Hello, I'm Mark from whiteboxuk.co.uk. Thanks for joining us on our install video for the Fletner TCX2 roof vent with narrow base. We're going to be fitting this to a Peugeot Boxer. We found a little bit of a problem with fitting these, even though it's got the narrow base, which is supposed to go between the ribs, we found it actually won't fit between the ribs of the van. You're also going to find this problem on some Fiats and some Citroëns. So, as a workaround, we've had to make up a plate, which I'll show you in a bit, will go on the bottom of this roof vent and it slightly overlaps the ribs on top of the van. That means that you can seal around here with this smaller hole. It'll make more sense when we get up there and start cutting. But if you want a template for this, or even one made, then please contact us by messaging at the bottom of the video. Let's have a look what's in the box. Okay, so we have the instructions, which shows you how it all goes together. It's also got in there some templates, which because we've got that spacer plate, we're not gonna use the actual template. We've got the roof vent itself, which we'll need to disassemble in order to fit it. And then there's a small bag with the nut and the cap that holds it all together. The next thing we're gonna do is disassemble the vent into its component parts. So, we're gonna get a screwdriver, just gently That's the, uh, the vent at the bottom that enables you to open and close and adjust the draft. We've then got the base plate here. So we've got the base plate. Then there's an, a, a spacer plate here. This um, is an optional to use. You may not need this. Certainly on this job we don't need this. And then you've got the top part of the rotator which sits on the roof of the van. Now this is where our new plate is going to fit over here. Again, if you want a template or you want us to make you one of these, just get in contact with us. We'll send the templates out to you for nothing. Obviously we'll have to charge for, for making the plate up. So there's our plate which goes over there. These are component parts and that's the rotator on the top. Next thing we need to do is work out the position of the ventilator. Now in this van, we're having two. We've already installed a ventilator at the front because obviously we had the issues with the plate. We wanted to make sure we get it right first before we tell you guys uh, how it's gonna go in. So what we need to do is find a position on the roof between two um, supports. It's quite important because actually when these things are spinning, they, they can create a bit of lift. So you want it in a nice strong part. Luckily this van has got ribs all the way down. So this one is installed over to the left hand side of the van. We're going to be installing this one over to the right. So we're looking at somewhere around here. I've counted in two ribs and then the third rib going up. So I'm going to measure on here. That's about 45 between the two. So we want 22 and a half is going to be in the middle of that, try and make it look even. So the next thing I've got to do, because this van's been partially lined, normally the van wouldn't look like this, but uh, the customer's bought the van to us, he's lining it all out. We're going to cut a section of this, uh, this bubble wrap out, and then that'll leave us with a bare metal, which is probably your starting point. So let's get that cut out. So now I've got the lining taken away, I've got the bare roof, I now need to find the centre of the rib that I'm going to drill. So I'm going to use a set of verniers um, or you can use a tape measure. Remember looking from the inside you want the rib that's pointing away from you, so the highest rib because on the top that's going to be again the highest rib, you don't want to be on these lower parts. I'm going to measure between these two points. We're looking at 70 mil between those two so I want to find around about 35. Just gonna make a small mark on there. Now I know that mark is the center between those because we're gonna be drilling a, a big hole in there, a 60 mil hole, so if it's not center, it's gonna come over the rib, you're never gonna seal it and rain's gonna leak in. Now we've got our mark in the roof, we need to drill a pilot hole. I'm gonna be using a six mil drill bit. Um, remember guys, safety first. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my lovely goggles on. Looks like I'm going skiing today. <laughs> so 
So that's our pilot hole in the center. I'm just gonna double check that. Now we've got a pilot hole cut. I'm gonna get a ladder, go on top of the roof, and cut the hole to 60 mil, and then we'll start fitting the brackets. Let's go upstairs. Okay, now we're up on the roof. Uh, this is where our, um, our pilot hole is. So I'm gonna use the, the hole cutter and put that in the center and cut the hole out to 60 mil. I've also got um, a little bit of grease in here because it does make a lot of noise. Probably best to have the drill on a, hold on a lower speed. A bit of grease around there. And there we have it, a 60 mil hole. Now we're gonna to have to put the template on top, drill the other two holes, which take the locators, um, and then start putting it back together. Uh, first, just gotta clean up the rough edges and put some rust cure on there. Okay, we're over to Mark Cam, and uh, we're just going to um, file up these rough edges, um, get it all cleaned up, ready to start drilling the other holes. Okay, it's looking a lot better. Just give it a clean up, bit of degreasant to get rid of the uh, the grease we put on. Now we just let this plate will fit over the top like this. So we've just got to drill the two locators. So let's get them in. Okay, so what we've got to do now is put this over. We're going to drill the two locators. We've got the plate on there with a hole in the centre and the two locators. So we're just going to put some rust cure on there, then some sealant on the plate, whack the top on. Right, now we've got the base plate and our spacer plate. We're going to have to put some sealant around this edge, sealant on the bottom edge, the bit that's going to go onto the roof of the van. That'll fit like that. Put our rotator on and then screw in the bottom. Just make sure we go right around these pegs. I'm sure some of you can do a neater job than me. And put the plate over the top. And I'm just gonna seal around this piece, no need to go right to the edges because we're just sealing against the hole. I'm using a flange sealant by the way. Okay, let's get this up on the roof. I'm gonna drop this into play. That fits lovely in there. Now put the rotator on top. already spinning away nice and plenty of wind here so now we've got to get the base on. Now we've got the rotator on the roof we need to put this base plate on so making sure there's a couple of lugs there that line up with the lugs that come through here. We've got our 13 mil nylock ready to screw in and mustn't over tighten this it says two to three newton meters because obviously it's only into plastic so just lightly nip that up it'll obviously be tight because of the nylock you don't want these falling off at any speed okay let's pull that down it's nice and tight gonna open up this vent Now 
and then that's on. We can open and close the vent as we need it. So that's it, we've finished fitting our Flettner roof vent. It's a TCX2 with a narrow base with a special adapter plate to fit the Peugeot Boxer, some Citroen and Fiat models. So like we said at the start of the video, if you need uh, any help, please leave a message, we'll get back to you. If you'd like a copy of the template, we'll send you that for free. Uh, or if you'd like us to make you up a plate, uh, get in contact and we'll let you know how much they are. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like and subscribe to our channel for more great install videos.